Hello Libras, welcome to your mid-February 2016 tarot reading. Um, one of the things that I'm sensing for you is that um, a lot of you are reassessing a major commitment, okay? And this can be a work contract or it can be a romantic um, partner. I feel like there is some type of contractual agreement associated with this union where, you know, you might be like, um, I don't know, engaged, um, married, or there might be a, a term limit for the work contract. So there is something drawn up. And as a result of it, it's not one of those things where you can easily, easily break away from it. I also feel there is going to be a lot of, for a lot of you, a blast from the past that is question, that is making you question where you're headed in life. Okay, So you might be solicited or headhunted by somebody from your past. You might also be in a position where past lovers are coming back in. They might have, um, they might be in a relationship. So you want to find out the details and be very, very careful about uh, whether or not you know they are completely single. Okay, so ask questions. Ask some some important questions is um, is going to be required of you. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to past energies. I feel that in the past, if there is a, an ex-lover or something like that coming back in, I feel like in the past you've made a clean break and you thought you were over this person. But I feel like their presence or their re-entry into your life is a little bit emotionally destabilizing. So you really want to know and ask yourself as well if it's even worth getting yourself worked up emotionally over this past lover as well, okay? Um, I feel as if, I feel like they have sincere intentions. I do feel that they have sincere intentions, but I feel that it's going to be difficult for you to know which way to go because you feel as if you were over it. You know, once upon a time you were very emotionally invested in it, but now you're at a point in your life where you want to move on and you want to pursue new things. Okay, so let's go over this reading here. Um, okay, so first of all, in the past position, we have the Fool. And the Fool is basically forging a new path for yourself, um, moving forward from from the past and, you know, moving forward in a new light, in a new direction with a lot of optimism, with a lot of hopes and aspirations for a greater future, okay? This is a card about breaking away from bondage and moving on, taking a leap of faith. A lot of you have recently done this, which brings you to your present situation, which is the two of wands. When it's in the reverse, it's usually indicative of a couple situation. This is a relationship card, but when it's in the reverse position, it means that two people coming together and to forge a relationship together or to come together in any type of a union, um, the union itself is, is laborious. Like It's very difficult for these two people to come together. All right. What's crossing it here is the King of Coins, and the, this is the King of Pentacles. So a lot of you might be dealing with an Earth sign in this capacity, where they might be an employer or a romantic partner. And I do feel that this is Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay, male or female. A lot of you might be dealing with a, an earth sign and you feel that it's, it's very difficult. It has been in the difficult in the past to bring this relationship to a union or to come together. And right now this person might be somebody new or somebody coming back in from the past. As a result of it, it's a very destabilizing energy. And I do feel for a lot of you, it's an old person trying to come back because you made a break for it. And now they're afraid they're going to lose you. And they're cycling back into your life, okay? In the crowning energy, we have the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands, this is a card about communication. Long-distance communication over, you know, text messages. Some type of swift, decisive communication. When it's in the reverse position, it means communication problems. It also can mean some type of a stall energy in communication. This is also a card greatly indicative of travel when it's in the reverse position. It is also travel delays as a result of not being able to see somebody or somebody promising to see you, but there is travel delays associated with it. The foundation here is the Six of Wands, or I'm sorry, Six of Swords. 
It's another card about travel. When it's in the reverse, I do feel this is not such a great, um, you know, the next two weeks is not great for either getting things published or having smooth sailing when it comes to some travel situation. You're going to hit some snag in the roads when it comes to streamlining either work processes or pushing a relationship along. There's going to be a lot of difficulties, okay? So be very careful with that and be very patient as well. What I am getting here is um, this is a situation where you are sailing away from a troublesome environment to safer, calmer water. And this is greatly indicative of your mental and emotional state, okay? In the past, you were burdened by a lot of communication from a person that has proven to be very problematic. Either they were not telling the truth or they were missing pieces of the puzzle and you've had it and I feel like a lot of you are not really tolerating it anymore and you've decided to move on. However, I'm also making this video right after, you know, Valentine's Day, which I really didn't want to do because a lot a lot of the times Valentine's Day is either very very blissful or very very disappointing and I feel that we're operating on the disappointment spectrum here for a lot of you. So, I try to avoid it doing, you know, before or after Valentine's Day because the energy is very funky, but I couldn't avoid it mainly because we also have the new moon in Aquarius which always trips me up. So I feel like there has been a lot of revelations regarding um, communication, truthful communication from another person. As a result of it, I feel like someone is coming back into your life and you're um, going back and you're getting yourself stuck in the same holding pattern, like the same holding cells, the same type of uh, cyclical um, miscommunication and things like that with another person and you're not able to move on so I feel like you made a break for it you're ready to pursue new relationship partner somebody from the past is coming through and you're trying to get answers you're trying to get some clarity um, the moon card also indicates confusion it also is a, a it's greatly indicative of um, Relying on our intuition, knowing that some of the things are, some of the pieces of vital information are not there yet, and hoping to be able to extract it from, from other people. I also feel in this regard, for a lot of you, um, it's really important for you to be very assertive for the next two weeks to get the answers that you want, okay? I feel there is a suppressed energy where you are trying to actively um, evade, like, conflict, or to avoid some type of confrontation. And I feel that in order for you to get the answers that you need, you are going to have to step up and engage in conflict to ask those questions, to dig up some dirt around uh, about somebody, or at least to get some answers for somebody. Because I feel like a lot of communication is being suppressed, mainly because you've met someone and you feel like, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. And you know, they are. They are looking to be very, very attractive, very desirable, and like the, the you know, the ideal partner. And as a result of it, you have these rose-colored glasses on and you're not asking, you know, are you really single? Are you, you know, divorced or still attached? So I feel like you're overlooking a lot of things and you're trying to purposely avoid conflict when it comes to a new person. Or if there's like a new job opportunity, someone presenting the job, they hype it up and they've got you like in wonderland feeling as if, wow, the job is just perfect, but... I feel that you you have to ask follow-up questions, okay? Just to flush out some ideas. And you're a very intelligent sign. So I feel like if something is amiss, you instinctively know what you have to ask. So it's really important for you to dig up those questions and don't be afraid to ask them, all right? What's in your external environment? So this is an energy coming in from other people around you. It's the death card in the reverse. I feel that... If you are soliciting other people for advice as to what you can do in this situation, they're telling you to move backwards. They're telling you to give things another chance. And I don't feel that that's something you intuitively feel is the right thing to do. So what I mean is a lot of the times our intuition tells us, no, it's not going to work. And then we ask the people around us and they're giving us conflicting information and now you're just very confused, okay? You're just very, very confused. And 
a lot of the times I feel like you make a lot of concessions, you make a lot of uh, excuses for another person, and you tell them that, um, and, and you tell yourself that maybe this time they've changed, or maybe it's not all that bad. And as a result of it, you're looking for validation in the external environment, and the external environment is telling you, no, don't go back to it. It's not going to work this time around. But I feel like with the death card in the reverse, it basically leaves the door open for past opportunities, past people to come back into our lives. And it's funny because it's not even the um, Mercury in retrograde energy, but I do feel that there is potential here for people from your past to come in in droves like a lot of people a lot of situations need to be returned to in order to to fix up okay so I feel like it, it's kind of like a false start for you you broke away and then you're being pulled back in so you have to really decide clearly what you want to do in this situation but I feel that a clean break you already implemented a clean break so it's very favorable for you to continue in the same on the same path, on the same trajectory, I feel that it's going to be a lot better for you. So don't re-engage with the past. That's my ultimate advice when it comes to exes, mainly because in the outcome position, let me just point that out so maybe that will you know, convince you. In terms of your hopes and fears, we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is basically, this is the card about in full emotional happiness, okay? This is the apex of the human emotional experience. So you're hoping, first of all, for a relationship partner that is very like-minded, that is going to nurture, support, and provide you and, and love you in the way that no one else can. I feel that for a lot of you, relationships in the past have been very one-sided because you're the sign of compromise. You know, you see both sides of the story. You see both sides of the coin. And you try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And I feel that it, it, was, it was a really good thing for you to do on a soul level. But I feel that a lot of people ended up disappointing you. And one of the main things about um, Libras especially is that you give people a lot of chances. And you tell yourself, you know, okay, two, three, three chances. And then, and then I'm going to walk away. But they might give you the sob story. And then you end up staying way past the expiration date of that relationship, of that union, of that job. So there is a sense of complacency here about when it comes to timing. Knowing when to walk away and knowing when you can no longer tolerate BS from other people. Okay, so be very, very careful about that. Not giving in too much and knowing standing firm and telling yourself okay three chances and that's it and really sticking by it so you're looking for you know you're, you're breaking away or you have broken away and you're looking for some emotionally nurturing fulfilling experience that is going to be able to replenish your soul and in terms of the outcome we have some amazing cards which is, first of all, the world card. And the world is being very protective with your heart and reserving your, your energy, your heart, for people who are worthy. So a lot of you are going out into the world and you're you're smarter about you know seeking new opportunities, seeking new relationship partners as well. A lot of you <clears throat> who are looking for new jobs, I feel that there is going to be uh, opportunities for you know traveling back and forth with a new job situation or working overseas and landing new jobs overseas. So that's what I'm sensing as well. The other thing that I want to say is um, I feel that you have to break old work contracts in order for you to pursue new work, okay? Don't feel guilty about doing that. I know that um, with when it comes to work contracts, there are stipulations about, you know, you have to work for them for a certain probationary period. And then, and then you feel as if, I don't really want to burn that bridge, so I'm going to tell them that uh, it's not a good fit or I'm going to give them other reasons. I feel that it's really important to be honest because we also have the Seven of Swords, which indicates some type of sneaky behavior. And it's in the reverse, which is pretty bad. And I want you to uh, understand as well. Because this is a sword energy, I'm going to read it as you. For a lot of you, you apply for jobs, okay? And uh, the first job came in and you took it even though it wasn't the right opportunity. Even though you knew it wasn't the perfect fit. And then the perfect job came through 
after you have already accepted the first job. So you have to break out of the contract with the first job. Be very careful. I feel like it's a small group of like a small social circle or a small, you know, um, it's a small like environment that you're dealing with. So people will know that you're uh, reneging on your contract with company A in order to work for company B. It's a very small world. And that's what I'm getting with this card, okay? It's a small world, so don't um, be honest or at least cover your tracks well so you're not um, found out, okay? And I don't feel there's anything wrong with that. You know, companies do that all the time. And when we do it, it seems as if, you know, it's not the right moral thing to do. But everyone needs to find something that they feel is a good fit for them. So don't be afraid, okay? Okay. Um, a lot of you are also really conscious about ruffling feathers, <laughs> uh, about upsetting other people, or even doing things that um, you feel might burn bridges. So you're very sensitive to that and you don't want to, you try to avoid that at all costs. But I feel that in life, we have to um, make difficult decisions sometimes. So, you know, don't worry about it. I feel that it's going to be fine. And then on the other side of the coin, in the love front, I feel the same thing might be happening where you might have recently, you know, started dating somebody and then somebody else is coming in that you feel is a much better fit and now you might be dating them both. For those of you who are um, single, I feel like a lot of opportunities, but I feel like a lot of people from the past are coming in as well. So use your discretion and be honest with yourself whether or not it's going to work, okay? We do have as well the three of wands in the reverse position. So once again, it is an opportunity for, you know, some exes to cycle back in. And I feel that a lot of you are really moving on with your life, severing ties, not letting exes back in, and you're very happy with the new person. A lot of you, if you are dating a new person who is an earth sign, okay, this is a brand new person. I feel that some of the, you are dating earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, and um, there might be a, a past lover coming back in, and at this point, you're not even communicating with them. You're, you're putting a stop to it, which is a great thing. So I do feel that you're on the right track in that matter, all right? Um, in terms of, for those of you who are in stable relationships, and um, I definitely feel a lot of gifts coming through, a lot of, you know, um, I, I guess what, um, you're being solicited by, you know, your significant other to potentially take the relationship to the next level as well. So I definitely feel some escalation, some kind of... Um, ascend when it comes to taking relationships to the next level, being promoted, getting opportunities for promotions where you're going to feel very, very elated. And um, there might be arguments coming through this year when it comes to jealousy and things like that from your significant other. Just make sure you're very honest. I feel like they, um, they might purposely stay out late just to see if you will check up on them. And um, I, I feel like they're doing it on purpose. So, you know, just... Um, Check up on them so that they know that you care and, you know, just um, appease them by making these these small concessions that might actually mean a lot to them. So I feel like they're doing some type of attention seeking. If you're in a stable relationship, your partner is doing some type of attention seeking in order to know how you feel about them. And I feel like for those of you in stable relationships, it might be a new relationship where you're still trying to figure each other out, okay? So being patient is going to go a long way here. So I do wish you all the um, best for the rest of February 2016. If you like a private reading, Libras, um, contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com or you can visit my website which is in the description box below and you can view my availability and book an appointment for yourself. Um, I believe I am booked right now until the 26th of February. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself and enjoy your Valentine's Day as well. Bye-bye.